Hi everybody, welcome back to another Armour 3 video. And in this video I want to kind of explain what anti-Stasi is in Armour 3. And in particular we're going to be looking at how to get it started as a solo player, because you can play this solo. Um, now we're going to be using the Prairie Fire map, uh, Kamlao Nam, but you can use it with all the popular type of maps. So if you fancy that you may well want to buy or uh, activate the Prairie DLC before you get started. Um, recommend SOG AI even if you're not working with uh, the Prairie Fire maps because it helps you to control your players. Um, sim simple single player cheat menu, always good to get yourself out of trouble. And I enjoy Web Knight's two primary weapons mod which has uh, a dependency of CBAA3. Now, there's also a beginner's guide for Antistasi, which I highly recommend you go through. And in fact, just skim read it to start off with. Because what you'll see is once we dive in and I'll show you how to get started in the game, that will then trigger lots of other questions. Antistasi is a dynamically created campaign where you start on a particular map as uh, some freedom fighters who... Um, have got very little resources and you need to complete lots and lots of missions in order to gain land and gain resources off the enemies um, to then slowly take over the map. And lots of other things are happening at the same time. The enemies may well counterattack you, they're fighting each other, there's patrols going on, you know, lots of different things, lots of um, random stuff that can then turn into amazing gameplay. So subscribe to Antistasi and the mods you want to particularly use, activate them in the launcher, and then when you jump into Armour 3, you want to go to multiplayer, go to server browser, and we want to host the server. And just host the server, it doesn't really matter. And then choose the map you want to play on. Antistasi supports almost all of the main maps. In this case, we're going to go to Khao Lao Nam, and we're going to choose Antistasi Community. At the moment, it's 3.2.0, but it could be different by the time you come to play it. We're going to click on play. We're going to make ourselves the default commander because we're playing solo. I'm going to say OK and it's going to start to load up. Now there's plenty of parameters we're going to sort out before we go in that are going to make this playthrough a little bit easier perhaps um, because we're going to be finding our way in these initial playthroughs um, and you can always make it difficult, more difficult as you go on. And we all know that Armour 3 is uh, difficult as we want it to be. So this is the map we're going to be playing on. And let's just say continue and then it's going to start to build the game now in this case we're going to create a new game we're going to use a new save file and uh, we're going to call it um we're going to call it anti stasi nam like that now let's look at the parameters first so there's different sort of game modes we can do we can have rebels versus government versus invaders so this means the government and the invaders are going to be fighting each other, and we're going to be fighting all of them, which is a pretty good way of doing it. Um, you could have rebel versus government and invaders, where both the other factions would be against you, um, or you could just have you versus the government. The devs recommend the top option. Then as you scroll down, you can change some other things. So initial player money, you could whack this up quite a lot, and initial faction money as well so that you can buy things to get yourself started. Um, and then you can scroll down and you could even change the balance so that the enemies don't have as many resources as well, which is uh, pretty good. Um, and then what we can do now is we can come out of there. Ooh, uh, continue. And then we've got our factions. So our rebels are that, we could use the vanilla sections. Uh, occupants, uh, people's uh, army of Vietnam and the invaders are the Americans so that's good uh, so we can go to load game create new game anti stasi nam we'll call it use a new save file we could change our HQ position if we wanted to so we could put it somewhere else um, generally you always want it at the end of a road or somewhere where you're not in between or on a main road where patrols are going to um, uh, come after you. I'm just going to leave it where it is in the middle. And then we're going to say start game. And it's going to say create a new game. And you say yes. So this is where our base is going to be and it's loaded it all in. Now if we go to the map now we should see, see it all start to populate in a second. In fact, let's come out, let's let it do that. 
So let's have a look at the different bits that are around this map. But what, what have we got to start off with? Well, we've got ourself. Unfortunately, though, we haven't got any stuff on us. But these are the elements that make up our base. So there's this fella, Petros, who is our commander. Now, when we go up to him, we can ask him for requests for missions. And that's very, very important. That's how we're going to get more resources, how we're going to get more money. Then we have our arsenal. Now we go in here to collect our weapons, but as you can see, we really don't have much to start off with. You have infinite M38 rifles, which <laughs> which is good, so let's have one of those. Um, and then we probably want some uh, ammo for it as well. So let's give ourselves loads of ammo. And we probably want some med kits as well, don't we? So let's get some med kits. Everything that we can carry. Okay, let's come out of there. So as you capture the resources, you can add them to your arsenal. And if you capture enough resources, you will get infinite of that particular item. So for example, let's say we captured 25, I think it is, AK-47s, and we put them into our arsenal. That would then become available for us to use all of the time, even if we used all those um, all those AKs. Now the, the flag, the map, sorry, here, we can go into game options with our mid mouse wheel and clicking in this is where we save things so we can save the game there that's very very important then we have the tent again using the mouse wheel scroll it down here we can uh, change the weather and we can rest for eight hours so you know we can make it nighttime that sort of stuff let's just reload this gun Come on, fella. well done and then the flagpole that you can see here, this is where we recruit um, uh, members as well. So we can go to unit recruitment and let's recruit, I don't know, an auto rifle, which has cost us 75 euros, is that? And then militiamen, which costs us 50 euros. If you look at the top of the screen, you can see how much money we've got and how much money our faction has got. Um, if you press Y, you can come up with your different options, your comp sort of battle options. So player and money, we can change things there. Um, garage a vehicle if we found one unlock one various different sort of command of options we have as well that you'll learn about when you read the uh, instruction manual we can also go up to HQ management and we can take money from the pool so we could take more money from uh, the, the organization if you like so we can spend it ourselves which is very good now all this stuff here we can actually move it around as well because we might not want to leave Petros here out in the open where he could get attacked so you could move him and we could put him say I don't know put him down there so he's a little bit more safe and you can do that with all the other things as well now let's have a look at the map so as you can see we've got all these different things going on at this point if we wanted to we could head off and we could do something else you know we could uh, reconnoiter the area see where the enemies are maybe even capture some stuff but what we probably want to do go to Petros and say give us a mission and we could say we want something easy don't we so say a support mission city supplies supply box spotted so let's see where that is locate There we go. So we've got to go and get these supplies. So that's something we can do. But that's an awful long way to go. So what we can do is if we go up to our garage and we can use our mouse wheel to scroll down, we can say let's buy a vehicle. Um, so we could buy something like that. We can put, it down, put it down. So now we can wander off and we can go and find that. Now, a big part of this to start off with is being hidden. If you look in the top right corner, it says undercover mode off. Now, while we have our guns out, we can't go undercover, but if we put our guns in the back of this, or I put my gun in the back of this, so I didn't have a weapon on the show, we could then go undercover, which allows us to drive past roadblocks and in general, um, not be spotted by uh, the enemies unless we do something suspicious like get a gun out or drive off-road or try and steal a truck or something like that um, and that really is the beginning so that's how you get started in anti-stasi and then you know you've got <laughs> got many many missions and many many things to do from now on 
Um, but hopefully that gives you the basis enough to get your first missions, get out there, start um, finding supplies, for, start attacking enemies, and start having a good time, and uh, really enjoying this dynamic game mode for Armour 3. But there we go. Hopefully you found that useful. Remember all those links will be in the description below the video, and I'll see you again soon.